I'm thrilled. In just a moment, we're going to connect with one of the doctors from the hit show, Live. You might think with the name Dr. Stork, he might actually be delivering babies for a living, but no. He is world-renowned in the emergency room, and he joins us now with some health tips on how we can keep our heart healthy. Let's welcome Dr. Stork. Welcome to Get Connected. Good to talk to you. How's it going? All right, Dr. Stork, let's go back to your days when you used to walk around Duke campus. Did you ever think you'd become a TV star? Not in a million years, I can promise you that. I was, uh, <laughs> that was not, not the plan. It just goes to show you never know how life's going to end up. So true. Now, I know you have a big concern when it comes to cholesterol and how it affects the heart, right? I do, and unfortunately cholesterol is something that you don't feel, there's no symptoms, so you can walk around with high cholesterol and not know it. It's one of the major risk factors for heart disease. This is National Cholesterol Education Month, and that's why I teamed up with General Mills because I'm out and about basically talking about ways you can improve your heart health and cholesterol, which is a big deal because one in three of us have heart disease, and that, that number is only growing, unfortunately. How do we get high cholesterol? Well, unfortunately, what we eat plays a big role. So we need cholesterol. Cholesterol is something that's very important for our bodies to function normally. And there are some people out there who are genetically predisposed to high cholesterol no matter what they do. But uh, you know, nowadays, more and more what we're seeing are people are eating meals that are high in saturated fats, um, these fried foods that can really increase our cholesterol levels. And so that's why I'm on a mission because high cholesterol can lead to a fatal heart attack. And the problem is if you have high cholesterol starting in your 20s, that, that damage to your heart's arteries builds up over time. And so the earlier you address it, the more likely you can prevent heart disease, which is why you know if you can work with your doctor and put together a great game plan and implement some of the things I'm gonna to talk to you about today, you can really hopefully stave off high cholesterol and, and potential heart disease. And so what are those things that we can do? Well, first and foremost, go, if you don't know what your cholesterol is, you should know it, just like you know your height and weight. So talk to your doctor, get your cholesterol levels checked so you know where you're starting at. There are some foods that you can switch out or add to your daily life that can make a difference. Whole grain oats are an example of a food that has something called beta-glucan. That's a soluble fiber that acts like a sponge in your gut and can help lower cholesterol levels. So whether it's a bowl of oatmeal or whole grain oat cereal like Cheerios, that's an option. Mixed nuts, I always tell people, if you could eliminate one afternoon snack that you know isn't good for you and eat a handful of unsalted mixed nuts, what that does is two things. Number one, it satisfies your appetite because it's got protein and good fats in it. But number two, those good fats and nuts can be good for your heart health, can be good for your cholesterol profile. The caveat there is obviously you don't want to eat the whole bin because nuts are high in calories. And then con another simple switch out for folks, a lot of times we'll make a salad and we'll think, oh, I'm being really healthy today, but then we'll load it with a, a creamy dressing that's loaded with saturated fat. So you took something that could be good for your heart and negated that benefit. Instead, if you can use an olive oil based dressing because olive oil has some heart healthy fats in it. These little changes can, can really add up over time and, and there are so many other changes we can make. Being more active, other switch outs when it comes to foods, uh, eating fish high in omega-3 fatty acids, these things really do play a role. Now doctor, I know Cheerios are good and now there's a wide assortment. What's your favorite? Just good old classic Cheerios. <laughs> better yet if you put some not a honey nut man you know what I, I throw some berries on top of it and just keep it real that's that's I'm old school well we love how you keep it real doctor where can we learn more about the information you shared with us today well I talk about this a lot on our show the doctors and our website the doctors tv.com has resources as well doctor continued success to you and thanks for your passion for our heart take care con Great having Dr. Stork with us, and you can check him out on The Doctors, and after seeing him, I can see why he's on TV indeed. We'll be right back with more Get Connected.